Hi there, this is my lock, and this is a little 40mm Smith & Lock, 4-pin, uh, 5-pin, yeah, little 5-pin padlock, works well, nice and smoothly, there's the bitting, a nice low at the front. So, I'm going to break out my little everyday carry set, which is uh, predominantly a set of mad bobs. Um, I use this as my everyday carry because uh, I don't use them that often. I, um, it's not every day I'm, I'm picking locks. I normally I use my, uh, my big sets at, at home if I'm going to be making videos and stuff so this is just a little set to have uh, yeah, just in case somebody needs help so there's a Peterson gem there's a South Southord uh, slim Euro profile and um, some tensioners a homemade tensioner ball rake for for wafers um, yeah there's a uh, I mean the Mad Bob set does have some pretty uh, Outlandish uh, profiles. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever used that one. Um, I might have to try using it one day just to, just to see what it's like. And, uh, so yeah, so we'll give this little Smith and Lock a, a quick pick. So, bottom, of the, bottom of the keyway tension, and we'll go to the back. Start at the back. Forwards. And a little false set. Bit of counter. And then we are open. Uh, there we go. A little Smith and Lock. And uh, not a bad little pick. Um, you know, not difficult, but. Uh, there are spools, so it's decent and spooly. Oh, we're in that little false set, little counter on one. And this is a oh, lower set. Don't think this is the ideal uh, profile of pick for it, right enough, but it's good to chop and change your profile so you're not getting too comfortable with the with the one pick there we go smith and lock little 40 mil pad lock i've picked worse so yeah if you're looking for a little comfort lock that's got a couple of spools in it you could do worse um one thing to note though is uh you're going to need to use bottom of the keyway top of the keyway I mean, even for this, which is uh, my little homemade tensioner that fits into most most things, uh, even that is too wide to to fit in the top of the keyway. Um, you know, there's a like a more standard, and it's just it's way too wide to fit in there. So bottom of the keyway is what I recommend for that one. There you go. Get yourself a Smith and Lock. Fun little pick. Not difficult though. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one. Cheers.